This is Ancestor 60 One RS, the brand new core module and a 4K boost mod with IMX 5x6 and 48 megapixels high pixel density. In this video, we're going to talk about the top accessories that I highly recommend for you to make the most of your One RS and even your existing One R modular system. And we're going to also dive deep in the design, the detail, and the accessories to tell you that whether your existing One R accessories are still capable or compatible with the new One RS modular system. And my name is Yixing Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. Now let's get started and dive right in. First, we're going to tear down the One R, the One RS, to tell you why it is cross-compatible in between the One RS and One R. This is basically because this is the core module and the lens module, the connectors, they are exactly the same. The connectors, they are exactly the same. No matter you have a 4K boost lens, a 1-inch Leica build, or a 360 mod, the connectors in between the lens module and the core module has never changed. So no matter you have a 1R core module or 1RS, basically you have the same connectors, the same standard in between the 1R and 1RS. The battery base, mechanically and electrically, they are pretty the same. With the same electrical connector and the same mechanical locking mechanism. Except the battery capacity, this battery also cross-compatible and they fit nicely with the core module and also the lens module. All of the designs, they are cross-compatible and you can always connect them all together with the same mechanic electrical standard. So this is the key idea of the 1R modular system. But you should notice that there are some major differences in some details that will make your existing 1R modular system not compatible with the 1RS anymore. The 1RS core module and the 1R core module, they have pretty identical size and weight. But uh, the brand new red battery that has 21 more capacity compared to its predecessor, now it is a little bit thicker compared to the previous one. Now you have to use the new battery base in order to be compatible with the new plastic protection frame of this latest 1RS modular system. If you take a closer look at this 1RS and 1R core module, let's take a look at these tiny little differences. The 1RS now has one more microphone compared with 1RS. As you can see, they have they both have a microphone on the top. Do you see the pinhole? but they have different position. And they have exactly the same microphone on the side, uh, exactly the same position. But for the One RS, now they have added a brand new microphone in the front, in this, in this one. So the One RS now has three microphone pickup area and it produced a better sound compared with One R. That is to say, uh, for, a, for your existing metal cage, uh, if you ever want to experience your One RS, you have to make precautions on this microphone placement. I don't know if you have ever remembered this boosted battery metal cage that I have designed with the ULens designers to make it happen, to make it reality to the market. And I'm so glad to share with you that this One R Plus metal cage for this One R is still compatible with One RS. It is designed for the boosted battery and it fits nicely on the One RS as well. It doesn't block any one of the pickup microphones, no matter on the front, the top, and the side. They have all exactly, so it looks pretty cool all around design. Uh, and it's a full aluminum design. It's also be doubled as a heat sink. And it just works gorgeous with two extra coach mount on the top and the side. But one thing I have to mention that if you ever have this setup, the Insta360 uh, the quick reader is not compatible anymore because on the side, now it is thicker. So next, let's talk about this mic adapter design for the One R. The sad news is that it is not compatible with One R S. And that is to say, if you ever plug in this mic adapter to the side of your One R S core module, uh, you will not be able to pick up the microphones externally into your One RS modular system. You have to purchase the latest Mac adapter, Horizon version or vertical version in order to make it work of, on your One RS modular system. Now you have to purchase a Mac adapter. It's more functional at the same time, more expensive 
compared to this tiny little guy. But another great news is that now you can uh, record the sound externally at the same time. Use the USB-C to charge while recording. And if you like me, you have ever purchased some third-party battery charger. For example, I have a Kima a dual battery charger that support USB Type-C input as well as a micro USB input. So you can charge dual batteries at the same time. So no matter you have this a new battery or this both battery, you can charge all of them at the same time. The price for the dual battery charger is quite reasonable. So you don't have to purchase the official design, but you should notice that the Intel 360 official dual battery charger support quick charge. So you can charge your batteries really, really fast. But with the third party battery charger, the charging speed is not that fast. And I also highly recommend you purchase some of the boosted battery base because uh, this is really gorgeous for the One RS. But one thing I have to mention that considering this is a third party accessory, so if this dual battery charger caused some damage to your battery or to your camera, the Insta360 might not be responsible for the result. So this is a precaution for you guys. Mm, but anyway, it works pretty well in my content creation. And I always carry the third party battery charger along with me everywhere I go when I have my One RS. And next one is, is a vertical battery base. The so vertical battery base is not that great in the first generation considering the capacity of the, the vertical battery base is exactly the same with the One R battery base. Now, this one has 21 more capacity. So with the vertical battery, you the, the, the real battery life might be shorter compared with this guy if you ever place the vertical battery into your One RS core module. On top of the vertical battery base, you can transform your One RS module system to this uh, Insta360 One X2 style. So maybe in the future, if the Insta360 has ever released a brand new 360 mod, this vertical battery might be the must-have accessory for you in the future. But up to now, this vertical battery base is not recommended on my top list. And this is the Insta360 quick release system. As you can see, uh, to, in order to get this proprietary quick release system, I've purchased four pair of the card dash mount. But luckily enough, now Insta360 finally launched their own uh, quick release system that you can purchase this individual quick release accessory for your Insta360 cameras. You don't have to purchase the card dash mount anymore. It is a lot cheaper compared with the card dash mount, and this one is really a must-have accessory uh, to, for your 360 mod or for your 4K the one like a build. It is totally invisible uh, on your Insta 360 camera, and even on some other manufacturers like the Cine Z1, the Cine X, the Kukam AK. All of them are compatible with the quick release system, and they are all totally invisible in the final shot. Foldable mount on the bottom that is compatible with the GoPro style. And also, it's a quarter mount thread hole compatible with your uh, invisible selfie stick. So next one, let's talk about this micro SD card designed by Insta360. I don't know if whether Insta360 has designed its own micro SD card, but this is a pretty good accessory for your cameras. This one has 64 gigabyte UHS-1 standard and V30 transferring speed. So with this micro SD card, it is capable to save the 5.7K. 5.3K, uh, and even with the, the 6K the widescreen mode. Considering the bandwidth of the video content in the One RS module system will not ever exceed the 200 megabit per second. So theoretically speaking, for this micro SD card, it can record up to 240 megabit per second. So unless you would like to capture 8K, a 10 bit 422. So you, you this this micro SD card is capable enough to help you save all your content. This one is a UHS-1 standard micro SD card. So if you ever capture tons of content in your card and copy and paste the data from your card to your desktop, it is quite time consuming. That is the reason why I highly recommend you should ever purchase a UHS-2 standard like the Kingston Canva Plus, the 64 gigabyte UHS-2 standard that has the, a dual connector in the back. The readout speed of this micro SD card is around 
300 megabytes per second on my MacBook with a UHS-2 standard microSD card reader. And this one is, will not exceed 100 megabytes per second. So with the UHS-2 standard, it is three to four times faster compared with the Insta 360 by SD card. And it is still compatible with your One RS and One R because this UHS 2 standard is also backward compatible with UHS 1 and your camera will recognize as a conventional UHS 1 SD card and copy and paste uh, and save the data into the SD card with the conventional speed. But once you have a UHS 2 standard micro SD card to copy and paste the data in from the card to your drive, it will perform a lightning fast speed. It will save you a lot of time, though it is a little bit more expensive, but sometimes time is money. Okay, in this section two, we're gonna focus on some of the latest accessory design on the One RS modular system. Among all of the design, one of my favorite should be this mic adapter. Uh, you can see it's named as mic adapter horizontal version, just like the quick reader. That is to say, interestingly, probably redesigning a vertical version that come with maybe a secret new module. This one was designed by Insys360 and Synova. If you are familiar with the DJI Action the first generation, you know the Synova has designed a pretty insane mic adapter that support TRS mic input and USB-C external charging at the same time. And the price for the mic adapter is quite reasonable. So I'm so glad to see that Insys360 finally have come together with this Cnova company. They come with such a beautiful and nice design for the One RS core module. I'm so glad to tell you that with this mic adapter, finally, we can externally input high quality sound at the same time charge via this USB-C port on the bottom. Uh, you should probably need a pair of the wireless microphone system and this one, this tiny little guy, the DT Pocket Wireless, is also one of my favorite 2.4 GHz wireless microphone system. A black edition, a white edition, but most importantly, this receiver or this Pocket Wireless system is a combination of analog and digital output at the same time via this USB-C port. That is to say you can use Pocket Wireless as a digital wireless microphone system or as a conventional analog input system for your One RS. This is a C2C cable, they use that cable, uh, your online meeting. This one is USB-C to TRRS cable. It is adaptive to your phone, to your cameras, and it also comes with a, a WLOF microphone system that is premium high quality. Install this mic adapter to your One RS. First, you have to unlock, uninstall this protection door for your one RS core module, but you probably you will lose the waterproof capability. And second, plug in this mic adapter, insert into the USB-C slot, and here you please notice that there's a locking mechanism. Take it inside, and this is how it looks like. It is quite small and compact. And the next one, use this wireless microphone system, for example, for the DT Pocket Wireless, and insert vertically inside your One RS. And later we unlock some new features on one of settings that you can even change the, in, the input audio gain on the go. The first time we open the one RS with a mic adapter, you probably notice that on the left you can see the real-time volume of your external mic. In, tap the volume bar, adjust the input volume of the external microphone. So it can now unlock the external audio gain settings. Now you can see the, the volume gain on the left. You see that? Well, you can tap the gain, tap the volume, adjust the gain, external microphone gain from 6 dB all the way down to minus 18 dB. I do hope that in the future, you, can, you guys can add some uh, limiter indication, whether it, it, the volume exceeds the minus, uh, minus 6 dB or even minus 3, which probably be overexposed in your final video. The audio you are hearing right now all comes from the DT Pocket Wireless system. Uh, so this USB-C to TRS cable into that mic adapter co-engineered with Insta360 and Cnova. This video clip was captured with the One RS 4K boost lens for your own reference. 
so you can make your own judgment on the external audio quality input via this mic adapter. And coming next, I will unplug the mic adapter to share with you this onboard 3 microphone areas input volume, the quality from this modular system. And you should notice that when you shoot videos with onboard microphone, you also have an audio mode in the 1RS settings menu. If you tap the audio mode, you can see there are different options, the wind reduction, the directional enhancement, and stereo input. Because there's three microphone areas, so you can use some beamforming technology to beamform a specific pick and pattern from a three microphone area. If there's no wind in your shooting scenarios, I will probably use at a directional enhancement so they can pick up my voice in front of the lens. So the audio you are hearing right now all comes from this one rs onboard three microphone areas that with a specific directional enhancement pick and pattern with the settings on the one rs settings menu. So this video clip was shot for your reference so you can make your own judgment on this onboard microphone of your quality so you can make your own judgment on whether this onboard microphone system could produce some optimal audio quality for your everyday content creation. Don't ever forget about this quick reader or horizontal version design for the One R, but this is also compatible with the One RS module system. Okay, so this is the official edition. It was a beautiful design with the red rubber on the side. And I'm so glad that Inti360 make this accessory compatible with One RS and One R at the same time. And this one could also be doubled as a USB-C uh, card reader on your MacBook or PC. And to want to know more about that, you can refer to my previous video talking a lot on this quick reader, both horizontal version and vertical version for One X2. For the 360 mod, you probably have noticed that uh, in the first generation 1R, uh, there are some third-party solutions for the sticky lens car. That Insta 360 now has come with their own solution on the sticky lens car design, just like this. Sticky lens car is compatible with all of the plastic frame, metal cage, no matter which design you have, you can always sticky stick this lens guard to your 360 mod. That will make your 360 mod more durable, more reliable. Get a pair of the sticky lens guard and two pairs of stickers that you can probably put the stickers on one of the 360 mod and this one to another. And don't forget everything, every accessory come in the package on a 1RS, no matter 4K, 1H or 360 twin lens edition. You can also purchase this standalone mounting bracket for the One RS together with this One RS, the bigger battery base. So these two guys come together that give you a better experience for your existed One R system. For those of the existed One R user, I also have some great news to share with you. Not just about the upcoming firmware on April from Insta360 that will finally make the One Art Core module be compatible with the 4K boost lens, which will unlock active HDR mode for the conventional One Art modular system as well. And but most importantly for accessories, you can also consider to purchase this standalone mounting bracket and a standalone battery base that has a 21 more capacity compared with its predecessor. So this is a great combo. The price is quite reasonable. And don't forget, you can also purchase a 4K boost lens if you are hesitated on this new One RS module system. So Insta360 really gives various choices to make your existing system better perform in the future. And don't forget, you can also purchase some individual One RS core module. This One RS core module, mounting bracket, battery base, this three items comes as a bundle of the One RS Core bundle. So if you easily upgrade your existing One R, the Core module into the brand new upstage, and it's also make it compatible with the existing a better mounting bracket and better battery. So this One RS Core bundle set is an evidence that Insta360 is definitely working on some even more powerful lens module for the One RS modular system. Probably they are working on some amazing new 360 lenses, has a built-in dual half inch sensor, or maybe probably even dual one inch sensor that could finally rival of the Ricoh Theta V1. Who knows? So we might probably see some great update on the system maybe later in the year of 2022. 
Okay, last but not least, I do want to share with you a little bit more extra accessory design by Ulanzi that will make your OneRS module system more powerful and more intuitive in your FD content creation. Uh, I mean, specific design for this external cultural mail on the OneRS. You can probably mount on some very small but tiny, mighty LED lights. This is VR30 and VR50. Uh, this one is an RGB light, the 15. RGB light, a different light scenarios. And this one has constant 5600K, it's a very high uh, CRI and TRCI. And also come with a soft box, did you see that? And it also gives you an extra cultural mount on the top. Both of the design have this exactly the same design, cultural mount and extra mount on the bottom. So you can use this one uh, on the top of your OneRS and place an, another wireless receiver on the top. This is probably a great solution for everyday content creation. Uh, and this one is really cheap. And uh, another great design is the v Vision VR16.6. I will also share with you on my previous video about two years ago. And this one has a, a tilting mechanism and it comes with a tilting mechanism. It has by color edition from cool to warm. This is also very cheap. For all of the accessories I mentioned in my video, I will provide you with a full list of all of the accessories with my personal affiliate links. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Definitely don't forget to check out this item list in my video description. And stay safe, see you next time. Bye.